Hello everybody, welcome back with some more Uncharted 2, and today we're still playing on the Monastery chapter, and I did realize something that the next chapter that we have to get actually comes later. It's not exactly this particular treasure around back there, I thought. No, the next one comes up pretty soon, so when we get the chance to get that one, I'll just go ahead and get that one. I'll let me move this around a little bit. She prepared more for this, but apparently I did not. Oh, of course, every time we... Yeah, you you can probably see it's coming. Oh. oh well, it's just not like Crash Bandicoot, where, like, you know, almost every single platform falls down. That's pretty good. So, basically, we're going to have to pull a God of War scene on this. And I say God of War because, from what I remember, God of War did almost the same thing like this. With the, uh... Or maybe not. No, I think God of... Yeah, that's right, God of War 3... Yeah, God of War 3 was the one with the bridge out thing as well. It is timed. You actually have to do this in a certain amount of time, so... Like, still take your time with it, but they obviously want you to not take too much time with it. I, I, was, I was thinking for a second, like, God of War 1 or 2 did a bridge out scene just like this, but no, they didn't. It was God of War 3 I'm thinking of. And that actually came out a year later, so you can say that's kind of a copycat right there. Well, who cares, really? Uncharted is still... It's still an amazing game, no matter what you do to it. Which, speaking of God of War, that might be my next Let's Play. I don't know yet. Or maybe even Splatterhouse. I have no idea. I'd sure like to do Splatterhouse around um, October. That would be kind of a cool little deal. But, I'm afraid of, like, wait. Oh, shit. Maybe, uh, you know, I, I I don't know. I think we're still in the same chapter, so if we're still in the same chapter, this next one shouldn't be that far ahead, I, I wouldn't think. If I missed it, oh well, who cares, let's go back and get some more. To be honest, it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to get spotted, so... As soon as you come out here, just run out here and cover, and pick these guys off. Not really that hard, man. So out of random topic, uh, I've been playing Metal Gear Rising a lot. Re well, not a lot. Well, I beat the game a few times. You know, I liked it. I haven't gotten the full amount of health yet. I have like one more health pack I'm missing, but I'm just too damn lazy to go back and <laughs> pick it up. So I've not gotten every trophy. I've not done everything. I'm not a Metal Gear kind of guy, so I figured, you know, that's more of a game for me to try to play and. Maybe see if I can get into something about it. I mean, the storytelling is pretty good, stuff like that. And I, I'll probably end up playing it one day on this channel. What I'm getting at is, I've been playing Revengeance mode for quite some time, for a few months now, trying to beat it, of course. And I was stuck on a part where you have to fight like this spare body part of Mistral and Monsoon. So if anybody knows what I'm talking about, I was fighting them on Revengeance mode, and for some reason I was just having a hard time. And then I recently just finally just beat him yesterday. I was so happy. I beat Sundowner and everything like that. And I'm working my way on beating Revenge's mode. Uh, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get the all S rank trophy just yet, but I'm working on it. Well, I'm not working on it just right now. I probably will try to do it. See, that's the thing with me is no matter what trophy it is, I'm going to try and get it. And if I feel like I just can't do it, then I just won't. It's really that simple with me. Oh, crap. I go pick a few guys off. Pick those guys off. You definitely want to take out the snipers, though. They're, um... They're dicks, because... That one-shot crap can really, really hurt. Hopefully the place I'm thinking of comes up next, because I haven't seen it yet. I still have not seen it yet, so it's not my fault I haven't seen it. Let's go pick up a... Yeah, if whatever the hell it's called. And yes, this actually is the first recording of the day, but it's going actually pretty smoothly. It's probably because I bought, like, an energy drink before I did this. I don't know, there's, like, this thing called Booster Boost or whatever at Quick Trip, and I'm like, I'll just buy it. Who cares? You know? It tastes okay. Whenever I drink, like, energy drinks, it doesn't really do anything. Like, when I used to drink mon I used to have some monsters once in a while and stuff like that, and, you know... You know, it, it it didn't really 
do anything. It didn't really hype me up or anything like that. Now, a five-hour energy, that's a different story. That's a... Uh, ooh, that was a bad idea. That got me a little hyper. But then again, that might have been just because I was a young kid. You know, young kids like to be hyper anyway. Alright, go ahead and knock that... Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> when I said knock that down, I didn't mean the ladder. I meant the block. Jeez, Elena, get it straight. Get through your thick head. Hopefully, this area that the uh, tr uh, treasure's at comes up soon. Because I don't remember going through a place that had stairs yet, so... Well, there was like an inside building that looked like one of the buildings that came from earlier that was supposed to have like stairs or something like that. I don't know. As logic consumes, you can't actually jump up to that top uh, wooden ledge thing there, so now you have to jump from here. There we go. Yeah, again, like I said, if I missed a treasure, I'll just go back and get it. Not a big deal. I, I just was freaking out because I, I really thought that, oh wait, actually, it's in here. Yeah, the treasure's in here because, you see that cage door? You see that little shine on that little cage window up there? Yep. Let's take a, just take a sneak peek and take a look. Yeah, again, it doesn't matter if you do a stealth kill on that guy or not because they're going to find out. One thing though, the damn, this, this damn pistol actually is damn good. I love this pistol because it's just so quick on the firing rate and everything and Recoil is not too bad, but then again, it's uncharted. Recoil is not really a thing. Much. <laughs> Everything's unrealistic, so, you know, why not? But I'm fine with that, you know. It's like Insomniac says. Fun triumphs realism. And, you know, that, that's what I want in my games. I want fun. I want fun games. The one thing that's starting to piss me off now is people are starting to say, like, there's no games coming out. There's, there's no games at all anymore. There's no games. Yeah, there are games still. You just need to go back and play some of them. There's a lot of games that people have not played yet that people should play. And, you know, it, it's... That really bugs me, too. It's like, people are like, there's no games out there ever. You know, there's no new games. Well, don't, don't play the new games, then. Stop playing new games to go play some of the old stuff. Go find something that you might be interested in. You never know what you can find. Trust me, I've done that myself. A few times. <laughs> Dare I say... My most recent game I've been playing. Yeah, you kind of have to make a really odd jump with that. So... This is our next treasure. Well, at least the last one of this chapter. Ooh, thank God I landed that. Okay. This is the Antique Bronze Lion. So this was the one that was causing me troubles back in the previous episode because I thought I missed it or something, but I didn't. Come on, follow so me. It's, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. There's actually nothing... I don't think there's really anything back there. Um, let's just take a look around. I think the reason why this reminds me of Red Steel 2 is because of just the the monastery itself, the design. It almost looks like it's... I don't even know, where, I don't even know what kind of architecture it really is, but the architecture reminds me of Red Steel 2. I can't really just pinpoint. I want to say what I think it is, but then again, I might be wrong, which is probable, but you never know. What's the, oh, yeah. There's nothing over there. They just make places for you to go that you don't really need to go to. Oh, I know. I'm getting kind of tired of transitions, too. And somehow, the door just randomly closes on its own. This part is actually pretty difficult, but this is the next chapter 23 reunion. Got my Desert 5 kills. Nice, nice. Uh, at the end of the game, I'm going to make a bonus video showing off me just showing off the stuff that I bought with... Well, okay, maybe not a bonus. Maybe like at the end of the game, like, if we've got time, I'm probably going to show off buying some stuff, some skins and stuff like that, and cheats. Because I actually already did buy a lot of, you know, uh, what do they call them? Just these resolution stuff. I bought a lot of those. It's funny, like, one of them's called, like, Next Gen. And, dear lord, it looks terrible. Like, I, I think that... I don't know what the joke is. I mean, is it supposed to... I, I don't know. Is it pre-Next Gen? I have no idea. So the next treasure actually is in this room. But we need a rope to get up there. Usually on... Or not. 
I was going to say, usually on crushing, I like to run up those stairs and blow them up in the RPG that way, but the game decided to say no. That's a bad idea. Of course it's a bad idea to me. What the hell am I talking about? Oh my god, these snipers, though. They're everywhere. God damn. I hate snipers more than I hate shotguns, because the shotgun, I know he's coming. Well, okay, no. Well, sniper, you know he's there. Shotgun, you... Okay, maybe I guess I hate shotguns more. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I guess I hate shotguns more because you don't know when you run up to them. You know, by the time you run up to them, it's probably too late anyway. So, and I I don't like this part a lot because they throw out just so much crap at you. It's almost ridiculous. Like you have to run up here to get these jackasses to spawn, and that kind of. That kind of bothers me sometimes. I know that RPG was kind of overkill, but who cares? They're shooting RPGs at me. I might as well shoot them back at them. RPGs are just for, you know, basic small things anyway. They're not really for, like, heavy blowing up stuff. Well, yeah, they can hurt like hell, I'm sure, but... They're just, you know, good for taking out, like, groups of guys and stuff like that and... Unfortunately, this game doesn't have very many groups of people we can just go ahead and whip out and kill off. This jackass needs to die. Yeah, I, I did see the shotgun get dropped. I will pick that up. Just, I want to go ahead and blow these ass wipes up. Damn! I love how it just goes through cover like that, too. Just takes out cover instead of just put some bullcrap idea where it's like, Oh, yeah, if you shoot the cover, it's not going to blow up. That I hate. <laughs> Now, cover destruction is pretty cool. I like how... Well, actually, in Uncharted uh, 3, that's when they start doing stuff like, um, you know, cover blowing up and stuff like that, where you can blow up cover and crap. Let's go ahead and pick it up and just waste it. I mean, using, you know, honestly, an RPG, you're gonna... Oh, crap. Yeah, uh, helmet guys, I actually forgot to explain this because I haven't done it much enough. Basically, with these helmet or these armor dudes, you can't really punch them with the helmets on. You have to, you have to wait till their helmets off. That's not until Uncharted 3. That's when they started doing that, where you could actually hit an enemy with a helmet off. No, with a helmet on, and you could knock it off their head. So, let's take the shotgun with us. Big guy shotguns. Where's the Mossberg at? I haven't seen that forever. Well, then again, I, wait. Is it even in this? I know it's on a. Uh, Oh, it's on online. I don't remember seeing it on campaign though. I don't think it actually is. I don't remember. It's been see, it's been too long since I've actually seen that gun itself. So I'm already starting to forget. Oh no! It's okay. We're here. You are right. About what? Everything you touch does turn to shit. All right, come on. We're gonna get you out of here. No. What do we do? Did you find my expedition? Yes, I found them. You understand what I had to do? Yes. If they had found the stone, it would have changed the course of history. Okay, easy. <coughs> easy. He took the dagger. I know. He's gone to the tower. You have to stop him. Uh, try, try not to move. <sighs> This monastery hides the secret path to Shambhala. You must get the dagger back, find the secret path, and destroy the stone before he gets his hands on it. Drake, you have to believe. Oh. Shaver. Oh, Nate. We can't just leave him. What choice do we have? You heard him. Do you think all this really could be true? I don't know. But he believed it. That's enough for me. <sighs> okay. I think we should split up. What? No, listen. 
I'll go scope out the secret entrance thing, and you go to the tower and figure out how to get that dagger back. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, just keep your head down and uh, stay in radio contact. Yeah, okay. Good luck. Okay, so... Yeah, unfortunately, Elena is gone. <laughs> I, I... God damn it, I already miss her enough. I need her in my party because she'll shoot shit. You know? I, I need somebody with me, but... Oh, well, who cares? I mean, it's Uncharted. So basically, you gotta grab that treasure while swinging on the rope. The best thing to do with this rope is to land on... Well, if you can land on the wood, go ahead. But if you can't, if you think you can't make it, jump on that little, like, climbing crap. Oops. I have to how to explain it. I'm just throwing out words. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Just ignore me. The cool thing about this shotgun is, it's like two shots with a certain amount of range and like one shot up close. Well, obviously. But it's so cool how they actually just, you know, are like, okay, well, two shots, done, you're good. GGWP. I think the next treasure comes up down there, I believe so. So we're going to go down there real quick, and we're going to go check that crap out, make sure that I'm correct, because if I'm not, then we're screwed. I actually don't remember where the hell I'm going. That was the room before, okay. And uh, I think there's nothing in this area. No, it's just a... A way to get down. That's pretty much what it's for. Oh! Oh! Actually, I think we're supposed to go this way. Okay. Well, uh, I I knew that. Totally. I, think I totally I saw knew that. Something. Uh, there's nothing around here. This is just some jackass. Oh, crap. Punch! <laughs> That's awesome. Unfortunately, I couldn't kick him, so I couldn't kick punch. It's all in the mind. Oh. Farts. Okay, uh, let's see. See, I keep thinking there's a treasure around here somewhere. I'm telling you guys, I think I... Well, I know there's an air... I don't know. <laughs> Why listen to me anyway? Now we can't jump that, okay. Some things you think you can do, and then the game says, no, that's not a good idea. And it's like, okay, well, it's not a good idea, then, oh well, goodbye. Oh, hello, goodbye. And... Maybe the next treasure comes up pretty soon. I believe so. Of course, I will go back and I will check to be on the safe side. Well, they're obviously shooting at each other, it seems like. Now, while they're all grouped up, go ahead and lob some grenades down there so you can blow them up. You know, get rid of them that way. A lot quicker to deal with. I love how it leaves an imprint in the snow. That is so badass. Oh, wait, I, I think I know what the next treasure Oh, shit. Oh, uh, let's just stay back and hide. Okay. So yeah, those are the immortal Yeti things again. We got some grenades, just lob them this way. Unfortunately, I only have two left, so... That's one guy dead. I think the next treasure is actually over there. Yep, there it is. That should be the next one. Well, it will be the next one I'm gonna get, but I'm saying like that hopefully will be the one I'm supposed... Oh! oh. Sweet Mary... Okay. Uh, how does one get down again? One cannot get down to place where one cannot go. Bullshit words of bullshit men. Speaking of bullshit, man, you know, like, I'm a, I wouldn't really say like a fan fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd, but I've watched a lot of his videos. Not every single one of them, I'm sure, but. I've watched a lot of the Angry Video Game and stuff, and I've watched a lot of Cinemassacre stuff, so... And... He had that, you know, that Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures game that came out, and it's like supposed to be like a... a callback to NES times and stuff like that, and... Well, I, I wasn't exactly born in NES times. I was actually born in the PlayStation 1 era. So... That could probably give you an idea of, you know, how old I am. 90s. But... The thing is... It's like, you know, I, I still do play some, like, old NES games and stuff like that every once in a while, you know. My friend had an NES, and he played a lot of those, and he showed me some games and stuff like that, or just 
we played some stuff together. I've seen videos. I've seen Angry Video Game Nerd talk about NES games and stuff like that. Well, anyway, the Angry Video Game Nerd game came out, and I'm like, oh, you know, it actually looks kind of fun, but I'm not 100% sure on that or not, but it would totally be something kind of fun to buy. Not to mention, one of the Kirby games I've always wanted to play is actually on the Wii U Virtual Console right now. And here I am sitting here not buying it, but then again, I don't really want to waste all my money on just some random stuff, which, that's not technically wasting my money, but it's, I just, I don't know. It's just me. I already have, like, too many games to play anyway. This is a Tibetan Conch horn. We actually, okay, I remember the Tibetan Conch horn being 83 because of the video, and yeah, we're on the right track, actually. So, we're not missing any treasures at all, which is definitely, uh, definitely good so far. Well, definitely a good, uh, what do you call it? I, I have no idea. I'm making progress. Well, my high score of keeping up with all the treasures is going pretty well. Yeah, Drake had to run that pretty quick there. So now we're going to drop down here, and hopefully this is the next area I'm thinking of, because if it's not, then we're not going to be screwed. It's just, yeah, okay, we're in the next, okay, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. What the fuck? I hit the damn thing. Fire. I'm sure they heard that, if there's anybody here. This is the bronze oil lamp. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they, they heard that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Gotta deal with these motherfuckers again. But luckily for me, guess what? I have a grenade launcher. And you don't. There's a... Um, I've, already, I've already explained this, but in the chapter called The Siege, there's an area where there's an infinite amount of guys who can spawn. And if you get the cheat code to put in, like, the GAU and you can just whip it out and have infinite ammo, go from there. Just, that's how you get the, um, metal slash achievement thing, or I think it's just metal, basically. I think it is just a metal. I don't remember if it's a achievement or not. A trophy, I should say. Yeah, these dicks take a lot of bullets to kill, but they're not that much of a threat, honestly. Because all you really gotta do is just avoid, just, you know, avoid their firing and stuff like that. Oh, man. You know what's so strange? It's like, okay, I was watching like a top 10 like glorious games or something like that. I, I, I actually, the weirdest thing was, I didn't see Spider House. And I'm like, what the hell? No Spider House? Actually, I, I got back into playing some Spider House yesterday, and I got like halfway through the game again because that's what I usually do when I play games that I'm so good at. I'm not really that good. It's. Oh, fuck. Uh, I didn't have any bullets because I already wasted them all on the. The JU guys. Yeah, it's funny. I call it JU, but I I call it I call it a T a Tayu. I guess because saying the word gay you kind of sounds kind of odd. I just say gay you. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, the I I call it a Tayu, the T A U from Uncharted Three. That's just that's just what I call it at least. I think it did save the treasure though. Yes. All right. I was, I was gonna say, like, I should know that, but it's me we're talking about. Why would I know anything? God damn, I love this pistol, though. It's so good! Just wait till Uncharted 3 when we get the Para 9. That thing sucks. In comparison to this, because it's such a small, short, little pistol thing. It's not even that cool! You fool! Okay, damn it! Damn it! No! I have fallen again. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and end up this episode here instead. Uh, once I take out this mutant, once again, once again, we just yeah, we just take out these guys first, and then we'll. Just, at least that way I can have, you know, some guns to spawn with. Because I, if you pick up the JU, you're basically a walking target almost. Like yeah, you can mow down guys like nothing, but at the same time, you're gonna die pretty quickly too. Is he like laughing at me? Looks like he is. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. There we go. Dead. Alright, well... Oh, there's a bad guy. And that's an RPG. I'll take that. Sorry, that off. That actually killed him. Holy crap. Uh... Ooh. I'm trying to think. Should I just... Oh, wait. What? You can punch when their helmet's on? 
Oh, bull crap. I must have messed up. That's probably what it was. I could have sworn you couldn't. He punched me with his helmet on. I'm confused. Well, anyway, folks, I'm going to end out this episode here, and I will see you all next time and play some more Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And as always, take care, everybody.